Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Eddie Marcus here. Yes, I'm here again. Let us reason together. Several months ago, a strange thing happened. One of our brothers was murdered. And it brought a cry out, not just from the area where it happened, but all across the globe. An indication that a great injustice had been done and the world agreed. And the world was crying out that some resolution to this take place. That was to say that something had failed the people. And until this is fixed, it is still failing the people. An election was held for president of the United States of America. 75 million people said they were dissatisfied with the system. And I believe 80 million more said as well that they were dissatisfied with the system. They didn't vote for satisfaction of the system. They voted because they were dissatisfied with the system. So we have brothers being murdered, protests, statements of dissatisfaction. And then on January 6th, 2021, we have an insurrection taking place in Washington, D.C. at the nation's capital. And what was it a statement of? It was a statement that the people were dissatisfied with the system. The system had failed them. It failed in the beginning. It failed in the middle. It failed in the end. And the process continues century after century replacing these with the promises and they come and go and get connection. These come and they go getting connection. And we the people always, always accepting. We know what's going on. We have the answer. We're going to fix the problem. Give us a chance. And we do. And what do we end up doing? Hating one another because they cause us to divide. They cause us to be misled with lies that we eagerly accept when it seemed to apply to us because we've been divided and we don't have compassion for the other. And as long as we're that way, we're always going to be a baseball. So I say to you, ladies and gentlemen, I'm tired of these systems. I'm tired of these men that operate in these systems, imposing pain and suffering to so many humans. Yet the centuries come, the centuries go. But we have right before us an opportunity to create a brave new world. The door for this upward mobility, this upward advance has been opened by our human experience in an attempt to decline to its lowest to its lowest element of a human experience. No, ladies and gentlemen, I refuse to go that low. And I personally refuse to be governed by a system that would allow us to go that low. No, before I do that, I'd represent a system myself. And I promise you, the system that I would represent would take us all up. So I don't have to bite my tongue when I say to you this. It is love that will get us on. And to the brothers and sisters who are all for Trump, I understand your cry. But Trump isn't your man. I mean, I realize you have been taught to be just like Trump. But Trump isn't your man. Trump isn't the man that can take you where you want to go. You want victory. You want to live. You want life. 
but you don't want to die. I know you're willing to, but you don't want to. You'd rather have your needs met, your wants met, and your desires. You'd like to have the opportunity to be who and what you are with no one interfering with it and nor you interfering with that of another. And nor would you ever desire anyone because you, my friends, are being satisfied. So I'm saying to you, can Donald Trump talk to you about stuff like that? Have you ever heard any politician talk to you about something like that? Have you even ever heard a preacher talk to you about something like that in this day, in your lifetime? Have you ever heard a preacher start saying these kinds of things to you that spreads abroad all across this nation, representing love, representing life, not the destruction, not worrying about things that don't matter? Things that don't matter are those things that does not cause pain does not cause suffering to you if you don't want it, nor does it affect anyone else in any other way. Those things don't matter. The things that matter are the things that is destructive in the lives of others. Those are the things that matter. Those are the things that we want to focus on. Nobody's trying to control your life. Your life is your life. But those things that are coming amongst us that involves what life truly is about, that's all of our responsibility. And I want to invite all the people who spent your life hating black folks, all the people who know exactly why you've been doing that. I want to invite all black people who have gone through all of this stuff that we've gone through. We know what it is like. We know what it's like. And we don't want to send anybody through what we have been through. And we don't wish it on anybody just to make us feel good. If we want anything, we won't change. And we, and we want it now. So ladies and gentlemen, the choice is in your hands. The door is wide open. We can go straight up or we can go straight down. Ain't no hanging in between. That day is over. Think about it. Thank you.